So I've always kind of followed local photographers, um, had an admiration for what they do. Uh, and one day I just kind of went out and bought the cheapest camera I could find and started taking pictures as a hobby. I would say people's reactions when I would deliver a client gallery, um, you know, just the general like above and beyond, uh, how pleased they were with their photos, um, kind of just gave me an energy to just keep going and just keep doing it more and more and more, spending more and more hours on it, um, and eventually it became more of a passion than a hobby, I would say. So I didn't really necessarily have a goal when starting the business. Um, like I said, it was just kind of more like a hobby, kind of a side hustle. Um, and then, you know, the more and more I would do work, um, realizing, you know, oh, I could actually make money doing this. Um, and again, seeing people's reactions um, just kind of fueled that fire. So I guess how it changed was, you know, just, just the fact that I wanted to take that side hustle and do that full time, uh, which I am doing now. And I guess now my goal is just to do the best work possible for my clients, um, get them the best photos, you know, the best, um, just capture the best moments for them and, and really do a good job telling their story. So I started out with just one and then I currently still have just the one. Uh, so I started this group called the Omaha Photographers Collaborative. Uh, basically, it's just a group of other photographers and myself that meet up at a coffee shop about once a week. Um, just talk about our trials and successes in business at the moment. Um, talk about puppies, stuff like that. Uh, really just anything happening in our lives. Um, but I kind of figured that everyone has something that they are good at. Um, so I just kind of like to bring everyone together with this group and use that as a platform to really just learn from each other and uh, just grow and build a... Uh, solid photography community. Part of the Omaha Photographers Collaborative is actually creating that community. Um, there's a lot of groups that just meet on Facebook, um, just, you know, post random questions and then you have someone comment on, on those. Um, and it's nice for some things, but uh, what, what I really focus on is getting people together in the same room face to face, um, and actually, you know, talking to each other, um, learning from each other, really just expanding on that community vibe, um, which is great for, you know, when so-and-so is sick and they really need someone to cover for them. Uh, for a gig, you know, it's nice to be able to hit up someone you know and you have uh, actually met with face to face. Um, you know, you know what kind of person they are, so you can more easily refer them to a client rather than just another person uh, behind a screen.
Yeah, I would say I looked up to a lot of local photographers and the really cool thing I found out about the uh, local photography community was everyone is pretty open and willing to help each other out, offer advice. Um, I mean, that's, that's kind of the, uh, that's kind of the idea of where this group came from that I mentioned. Um, you know, everyone kind of comes together and, you know, offers help with anything. I mean, I've gotten advice on, uh, who to talk to for business insurance, who to talk to for, um, a CPA, like how to file an LLC, all that cool stuff. So, um, yeah, I would say look up to lots of people. The cold. Omaha is too cold. Um, that can create some cool opportunities for like snow pictures, but 90% of the time you're having people like shivering in between shots. Um, I do a lot of my work on site, like outdoors. Uh, so during the colder seasons, it gets to be really hard to find a good spot to take people. Um, especially large groups like wedding parties, families, stuff like that. So, Omaha, be warmer. So I specialize in wedding photography um, and then engagements go along with that. Couples photos, uh, I also do family photos seniors and just your general portraits. Uh, I do like to travel, travel quite a bit. And um, while I'm traveling, I usually like to do landscapes. For the first while, I was really focused on, of course, buying gear. Um, getting the best camera equipment, um, you know, buying lenses, camera bodies, flash, uh, all sorts of storage, um, really like PC, like monitors, stuff you don't really think about, um, but is really like an important part behind the scenes. Um, photographers actually spend a lot of time behind a computer, like maybe more time than behind their actual cameras. Uh, so I spent lots of money on gear as the business was just starting up. Now that I have that, um, I don't necessarily need any more of it. Uh, so now I can just kind of incrementally invest money into stuff like marketing and you know, social media, websites, um, redesigning my marketing materials, um, business cards, stuff like that. I'd say that I advertise basically the same way as all other photographers do, which is social media, um, website and word of mouth. Um, obviously with social media, you know, they, they change stuff up a lot, change their algorithms. Um, it's getting to be increasingly, you know, more paid to play on there. So, um, you know, re really investing that money into social media is becoming more and more of a thing. Um, but, you know, I think having that website that people can go to, view your full portfolio, seeing that you've done a lot of good work and, you know, fill out the contact form is very important for clients to see. Well, first of all, I'd say I have the benefit of being born and raised here. Um, 
going to high school here, you know, college. I do have people here that I am connected with already. Um, and that's huge in terms of word of mouth, um, which I would say is probably the number one uh, way that I do get business. Um, but other than that, I would just say that the people here are actually really cool people. People, um, You know, I, I have a lot of friends here, um, know lots of families, and it's really cool just to dive in with them and get to uh, capture like special memories for them. So obviously Omaha is a bit of a smaller city. Um, it, it still does have that rural vibe. So you can, you know, go drive 30 minutes and you're literally in a cornfield, uh, which can be nice actually for taking pictures if you want that. Um, but it does have this urban flip side, um, which I really do like, and I feel like that part of it's growing. Um, I think that's only going to expand, you know, with neighborhoods like Benson and of course like Dundee, like the downtown area. Um, there's just kind of this urban mindset um, happening and growing and I think that's really going to be beneficial for businesses. Uh, I talked to some people and um, I haven't been to Portland myself but they have said Omaha's kind of like a mini Portland so um, just kind of excited to see where that goes and what that means for me. Cheap rent and runzas. <laughs>